In today's Ultimate Grounded, I'm going to talk everything you need to know about wasps, the armor, if it's really good for a archer class, consumables, the decor, how to gain access to the brony box, all the secret stats about wasps. Let's go, it's Ultimate Grounded. Wasps. So for the basics for the noobs, if you go ahead and destroy a couple of nests as well as kill some wasps, once they're annoyed with you, that will trigger the brony box to break open, basically the hive will be angry. The message will pop up like other factional raids that they're annoyed with you or they want you gone and that's when you know that when you sleep you're going to get the animation that says the hive has been disturbed. They'll now be found not only around the small wasp nests but they'll also be in the eastern flooded zone as well as the flower bed. So you have to make a decision whether or not you're ready for that. They will spread around the yard a little bit more. It's not as drastic as the haze when you plug that up you've got infected creatures absolutely everywhere. It really won't take too long to get enough resources to craft the tier 3 armor set that you can get from wasps. If you're a fast archer, it's a fantastic little set. But where do you find them? Well, you'll find one pretty much underneath the Java Matic just here next to the brony box. You'll find one more also underneath the tool chest. Probably the toughest one could be underneath the stump as you've got all the tiger mosquitoes here as well as obviously the wolf spider that patrols. One closest to the mixer in the upper highlands, right by this berry bush. And last one hanging from one of the fallen branches, again in the upper yard, pretty close to the stump. The was nests should respawn after a couple of days. Once the brony box is open, you will find that there's more was floating around some of the areas I just mentioned, but the ones in the lower yard tend to be quite high, so you have to maybe go out of your way to aggravate them or be scathing close to the flowers to really get them angry. So how do you aggravate them? By destroying their mini nests. You can do this with pretty much any tier 3 tool like an axe or a tier 3 crossbow. They drop was paper, which we'll talk about a little later, but let's see how we deal with wasps. By far the easiest way is with a range class. Yes, obviously they may be a bit more resistant to stabbing, which obviously arrows are, but they're still going to be good enough and that's what you should be using to take them down. Or some sort of club that can give a lot of stun damage so they'll actually fall to the floor and can hopefully finish them off quickly. The drones are slightly harder to defeat. They tend to fly around a little bit more and won't usually directly attack you, preferring to spit their venom or doing this scream which has a chance of healing other wasps in its area or giving a cut buff which pretty much will mean any other enemies that hit you will do more bleed damage. Both variants of the wasp have the same weaknesses and strengths, they're both weak to salty so whatever weapon you'll use try and make sure it's got salty on it or of course the salt trinket as that might be the best bet if you really are using something different as your favourite weapon. You'll do 25% more damage with Salty compared to any of the other stuff and their resistance is spicy, you'll do 25% less damage against creatures. You'll do 25% less damage using an axe or slashing and 50% less damage using explosives or stabbing. I still think a spear is a good method though as it does have that increased range that you can use either throwing or stabbing. As long as it's got Salty that'll help negate the less effective damage of it. And it'll take 50% less damage to gas as well as 75% less damage to poison. So maybe not the best idea to use your Broodmother poison set when you're taking these guys on. Now I'm using another tier 3 armor set and it's recommended that you have one before going into the brony box and I've got it upgraded to level 7. Unlike the drones, wasps regular ones have four different attacks. They can fire a projectile stinger at you, they can also do a melee bite as well as a charge, plus a regular sting attack. Both their projectile and their charge attack both do poison damage and flicking as well. Poison buff stacks, so if you've got three wasps attacking you and they all manage to inflict it, then it's going to stack three times. So Mithridism or maybe even the brand new smoothie that you can make with wasp parts can help with reducing that poison. Both wasps and drones drop wasp shells as well as legs and pollen, but the drones themselves have a 1% chance of also dropping the wasp paper. With these materials you should be easily able to craft the wasp arm set. You only need 6 of the shells, 8 of the legs, plus some pupa leather and some lint rope. Kill two hives, so four wasps, two drones, and you'll pretty much be covered. Each piece is going to give you the charge shot combo. When you fire a quick arrow shot, you get a 30% chance to also then apply a 5 second buff that reduces the charge attack time. So never really want to use a crossbow with this armor set, always an actual bow. 
You could potentially use something fast like a dagger, fire one shot off, run in for the dagger kill, but it kind of is designed around you misfiring the shot and then go ahead and fire in a power shot which does do a little bit more damage. You simply hold on to the attack button a little bit longer. Upgrade down the sleep path and you get the quick shot refund which is a chance of giving you a bit of a stamina boost, replenishing 30 of your stamina at 30% chance. Now it is a light armor, so it is maybe a good call to maybe go down the bolt path just to get that extra defense, unless you really do want that extra stamina boost. But with the sleep effect upgraded, the best way to use this armor set is to fire a quick shot, then hold the next shot and keep firing smaller shots. When the five second debuff runs out, carry on doing the same thing. Quick shot, hold the shot and then more quick shots. Doing it with this method means you'll be doing quicker shots and you'll be replenishing your stamina more often. But the best thing about this arm set in my opinion is the air superiority. If you have all three pieces equipped you get the extra bonus and you've got a 75% chance of stunning creatures more effectively making them come to the ground so you can finish them off. Super useful for more flying annoying creatures like the mosquitoes. So never use poison stuff against them unless you really have got an OP build and it's just something that you're rocking with. Never use crossbows either. Try not to use explosives and never use a crossbow if you're wearing the wasp armor itself. If you find the forgotten burgle chip which is inside the blue air dryer ball inside the brawny bin, you'll get two new meals which one relies heavily on wasp parts. The wasp roll will give you protection against poison but also exhaustion recovery for 20 minutes. And then Parna Dust is made for giving protection against Dust Guard and giving you hyper stamina. And of course you do get a new smoothie again which is relatively easy to make, only needing one wasp shell, one paper and one spider venom. Not only does this help resist poison, it also cure it too. Keep farming the shells and you can craft yourself some of these nice dresses alongside obviously once you get some of the pinecone. They've all got huge inventory space as well, so they're much, much bigger than a regular chest. But these will also be unlocked cozy level 5. And with the paper you can go ahead and craft the wasp partition. At the moment this should unlock when you analyse the wasp paper. It's not hidden behind any coziness. Likewise, as far as I can tell, the lamp is also just freely unlocked once you get the wasp paper and you can place it on different furniture and light it just like the rest of the lights in the game. Crafting a trophy just like all the other creatures will grant you 15 minutes of bonus damage. And if you want to steal more wasp parts when taking them on, then make sure you craft the stuff version for an extra 15 minutes damage of extra loot luck. So time for the review. Is it actually any good? Well the wasp armor I think absolutely. If you're planning on taking on the wasp queen and getting access to the bard's bow, it really is the optimum set to use together. By this stage in the yard, if you can go and get pinecone, there's no real reason why you wouldn't have a tier 3 crossbow. And of course, if you're using a crossbow, then you're negating a lot of the bonuses of the wasp armor. For sure, you can still do effective damage with just a tier 2 insect bow as well. But it would have to be max equipped, and I would suggest using salty arrows, especially when you're still going up against creatures like these, or just making sure you've got elemental arrows for whatever creature you're facing. Learning how to pretty much fire off quick shots and then holding your shot just half a second or so later to get that charge shot is really key to getting the most out of this set and paying attention to that 5 second buff. It can be really effective for farming the Waz Queen itself, especially if you've got air superiority as well as that will really really give you an extra bonus against some of the minions that the Waz Queen spawns. I'm testing using things like the moth armor as well. I did find that the moth armor shredded the queen a lot quicker, but for sure this was better when facing the minions. The consumables and the meals are almost even as good, again especially if you're going to be farming up the broodmother, but you maybe want to use different mutations instead of having mythodism. There's definitely an argument for choosing either going down the path of wasp armor or choosing the moth stuff. I think for the farming of the boss, the moth is going to be your optimum experience, but if you are going to be using your armor throughout taking more smaller creatures down, especially the tiger mosquitoes and stuff, then the wasp armor is definitely going to be more handy. And even without the air superiority, being able to tackle multiple creatures like fire ants with a ranged weapon is pretty good. 
The ultimate guide to wasps. Incoming though, I've got a boss and brony boy box guide as well. So look out for that. Until next time, rat bags, laters.